Hello and thank you for watching Gameplay by our Dubich. This is episode 8 of Folktale, developed and published by Games Foundry. Alright, when last we left off we had defeated the giant treant, or whatever that was over here. And we raided the little kobold camps here, but they respawn pretty quickly and doesn't look like there was any way to take them out. So we built walls there as well. Focus for this video is going to be exploring these pyramids over here. And if that leads to something cool, then that's what this video will be all about. If we get over there and there's just nothing there, we'll go ahead and keep exploring. Maybe try to finish out this map and get everything explored and see if maybe there's a purpose to playing this game after um, kind of getting your village all set up. Uh, the game is still in early access. It's not a finished product yet, so I'm not aware if they have any win conditions in yet new or not. Have arrived. What is this? Our village is under attack. Our town is under attack. Okay. Um. I'm confused. I never built a. <laughs> never built a cottage over here, so I don't know why we're getting attacked. I'm just gonna let it go. A Honestly. building has been destroyed. That's fine. Not sure why there's a cottage there. I don't remember building one there, but whatever. Going to go ahead and build a new cottage here in town to replace that one because that put us over our cap. Uh, let's go ahead and put it here. We're out of space up north with the rest of Mars. They're attacking our buildings. Maybe we can fit in here. Yeah, we can fit it there. That's Don't fine. let our buildings fall. Not sure. Oh. Okay, so the Toad Army was trying to follow the citizen back, but uh, we're going to go ahead and let that citizen get what's coming to them since they were a traitor to our village. Sorry about your luck. Alright, where's our soldiers at? A building has been constructed. The uh, enemy is in our village. Standing ready. It's on four of them. Where's the other ones? There they are. Yes, my dear. I'm gonna go ahead and open the gate. Okay. It should be closed gate, not open gate, but same difference, I guess. So as I was saying, I don't know if there's any win conditions to the map, or if it's just kind of a build up your town. Marauders are ransacking our village. Survive the uh, survive the elements, and then defend the village. Not yet. Why is everything going crazy here? What the hell's going on? There's nothing here. I don't care about this stuff down here. That's not my village. They can die. Be right there, darling. Anyway, again, as I was saying before, interrupted by that area, I do not know if there's Fall any win and defend the village. If there's any wind conditions to this game or not, and. Yeah, 
that dude is way too loud. Our so, is under so yeah, I'm not sure if there's any win conditions or if there's really any point to playing other than just building up your village and seeing how long you can survive. Um, the the goblins we took care of them they're gone but the kobolds respawn fully New villages have arrived. as does the spiders so there's always going to be some kind of threat out there A woman's work is but I mean, it's done. really easy to defend your village by just putting up the walls May you die badly. Tis an honor. Our village has attracted new settlers. Wow, this stuff looks pretty high tech. Be right there, darling. Yes, my dear. Okay, so you can clearly put them in the temple area, but you can't view inside it. Um, hmm. I don't know if maybe this is a unfinished area where later on this will lead to a dungeon or if it's just a pointless rabbit hole kind of thing that okay. it's just there for design Double time. or if at one point maybe you can send them in there and they'll explore or whatever uh, they're supposed to be dungeons in the game but I don't know if they're implemented or not yet and also if you do the map editor that I know um, All right, dear some of the maps you can make are in fact dungeons but uh, I don't know if they actually have game made dungeons yet or not alright so it looks like there was a couple patrols out here there's co kobolds up there and these toad men here Our town is supposedly under attack, so check on these guys again. And of course, nothing is here. It's just being really annoying about this area down here. Looks like we got a Toad King over here. Oh, no for Don't let our buildings fall. Your reign is over. I feel like I'm missing a significant portion of my armed forces here. I know we got four back there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I'm missing three people. Must not have had them uh, remade. The enemy is in our village. Marauders are ransacking our village. Dude's spazzing out. Alright. 
this doesn't look like an enemy, so let's see what he has to say. Nothing. Can we go in here? Nope. Alright, so this guy doesn't talk, you can't kill him, and the two pyramids are completely pointless. Maybe later they'll implement some dungeons and actually have a point to them. But it seems like for now, there's no use for them. So, we're going to go ahead and head over here and finish the exploration of this map. I shall drink to your death. Never done. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like the end of this uh, the exploration of this map is going to be very anticlimactic as everything that we've already done in the past videos is the extent of this zone. Um, I guess we can go ahead and just head back over here and explore. Um, didn't fully take care of right the northeast over here. And we did take out the kobold camp and then they turned around and respawned, but we never did address the spider issue out here. Or even seeing what's here, which is probably nothing here. Um, and then other than the spiders here is probably nothing. So this is probably the end of this map. Um, like I said, with no wind conditions, it kind of makes all of this gameplay kind of pointless. Um, there's not going to be any challenges that face the video um, outside of this kobold camp and the spiders. Uh, maybe the toes if they respawn. Um, can't win the map. So I guess if you like to sit here and manage your town, which at this point the town is self-sufficient. I don't have to do anything else. Um, I guess if you like constant combat, you can keep feeding forces into this area, but that's going to get boring after a while. Uh, that pretty much seems like it's going to be the end of uh, this map for our series. But we'll go ahead and explore up here and get a decent sized video in. Where are our guys? There's one dude who made it. Wow, you guys are very intelligent. I don't know who Why is this dude unresponsive? Be right there, darling. There's nothing blocking him. Or her, I guess. Whatever. Yes, my dear. I'm 
Did this dude die? Oh no, he's still alive. A woman's work is never done. So I'm actually really disappointed at how this map is going to end. Um, even if there's not a win condition, it would be really nice to just have that final boss to say, I won, you know? And these guys need to stop creeping up towards the Cobalt Camp. Be right there, darling. But, you know, just something to signify some kind of victory or the end would be great which this game is just lacking right now. Defend the village. I don't understand why the village doesn't have fun because there's a tavern and it is supplied with alcohol and is upgraded so I don't know. The camera keeps climbing trees. Never done. For our people. Fall back and defend the village. Our village is under attack. Okay. Another thing too is this game is billed no. as a Darn. RPG in, a, in sorts or of sorts. Um, so, Our town is I mean, I guess there is some open world here. It's just not big enough. It'd be, and, you know, I'm probably asking for too much here, but it would be really nice to have, you know, just a nice little zone to build your town, and then a huge expansive area to actually go out and explore um, you know have multiple dungeons not just like one or two spots that would be considered a dungeon or a place to have like a transition to a dungeon or whatever um, you know not just have a couple random villages that spawn stuff but uh, you know maybe I played too much too many MMOs where I'm used to actually being able to go out and explore the world or whatever but um, you know, the last time I played this, it was even less complete than it is now. Uh, so, and there's a lot more features now than there was last time. It definitely feels like a better game. Um, still some bugs, still some things missing. But uh, it's better than last time. And it's just not finished, though. Um... Maybe once it is finished, it'll be a lot better. With all that said, I'm disappointed. Um, this game has a lot of potential and be really fun, but I don't think it's going to meet that potential. And even when it is a finished product, when they have dungeons in the game, uh, you know, maybe some harder bosses, uh, maybe the maps are a little longer to play or whatever, I don't think it's going to be something that really warrants spending a lot of money on because I think it's going to be something that players get bored of really quick. Um, the other alternative would be you know expand the map size and maybe make it two to four players or something like that. Right? You know you can obviously have single player to just do what you're doing now but maybe throw in some multiplayer where uh, there can be a rival village or multiple rival villages. Um, you know make it more of a strategy type game. Uh, you know, you can keep all the stuff in the middle ground, the kobold camps and the spiders and everything, just to give you some PvE and some added difficulty. But I think the direction that this game really should go into if they want to see success would be to have that multiplayer aspect, something that gives you more replayability or something that actually gives a point to the game. Because I think generally players, even though they might enjoy you know, playing this for, you know, even maybe 20 hours or something, which, you know, normally 20 hours is a good amount to get out of a game. But I think 
once they play through like once maybe twice on a map it's going to be one of those games that they just don't ever touch again um, it's going to get very old very quick and some people might regret the fact that they spent some money on it um, and it might sound like I'm just bashing the game I'm not trying to bash the game I think it's a really fun game I just don't think that the current direction they're taking the game in is going to satisfy players um, whereas I think like I said if they made it a you know multiplayer thing we can have two to four players and you have to try to take out the other people's towns with the PVE in the middle of it I think that would make this a lot more of an enjoyable game and would make a lot more people play it uh, PVP is a very it's already got a very big following of players and it's growing um, New villages have you know, I've played MMOs for the last 10 years now and when I first started playing MMOs it was about the social experience being able to co-op with friends or have social events and now the end game for every single MMO is PvP with a couple raids or dungeons thrown in some MMOs now are even starting to just completely cut the PvE out of the game and make it PvP um, so that's definitely the trend that games are going in and one that I think would benefit this game uh, if they went ahead and made it kind of like a strategy PvP game uh, one of the things that I've noticed from reading the comments is a lot of players are not satisfied with the direction the game's been going in. It's had a lot of potential and it's just not going to get there. Um, you know, and it might just be me speaking, but this is you know a suggestion on how to make the future of this game bright. Is just you know make it so you can do two to four player PvP. I think that'd be a lot of fun and very challenging. Uh, but now that I pretty much talked in circles kind of about adding PvP for the last five minutes, um, we got the whole map explored. There's nothing else to do unless we want to just mindlessly keep sending people out here. Uh, town's self-sufficient other than the fact they want more booze, but all I'd have to do is just take a couple extra people and throw them in the, uh, the booze making thing and that'd be done, which I'm not even going to bother with. Um, so, I guess since we went ahead and got a full playthrough in, uh, giving my final thoughts and then wrap up this series for now. Um, fun game, a lot of potential. Uh, I would like to see some kind of a finish put into the maps, whether it be some dungeons you can beat or just one big final boss, uh, you know, or some kind of win condition. Either that or make a kind of a strategy PvP game. Um, I've enjoyed playing it, but it's not something that I'm dying to play every day. Uh, it's one of those things that um, I wanted to put out there so that everyone can kind of get an idea of the game. And the series got kind of popular, so I thought I'd go ahead and put up another uh, group of videos so that everyone can get a little more of an idea as the progress in the games progressed but uh, I mean after I wrap up this video it'll probably be another two or three months until I start playing it again and that would again be to go ahead and see what other kind of updates they've made to the game so yeah so like I said it's a fun game <clears throat> not a finished product by any means and maybe once it is it'll be more fun uh, I hope that you know, one objective I have from these videos is that you don't just rely on my word to g decide if you want to go out and buy the game or not, but that you get to experience the game and what the game plays like so you can decide if it's something you'd like to go out and get. And ho <clears throat> hopefully, through watching the last eight episodes of this series, um, you know, the four before where we played on the one map and it, there was just nothing implemented, and the four now where they have a little more implemented and we got a little further uh, you've got a pretty good understanding of what this game is all about so I hope that you've been able to go ahead and um, decide for yourself if this is something you'd like to play on your own or not and maybe uh, you would like to pick it up support the game uh, being a independently developed game your purchase is what helps the developers 
turn around and put more into the game. So the more people who support the game, the better the game might actually end up being. And then, you know, if you like the PvE aspect, that's the game that, or the direction that the developers are going in. But if you agree with me, that is something that would be a fantastic uh, PvP strategy type game. By all means, buy the game, support the game, and then feed the developers those comments and those suggestions because, you know, let's face it, they this might be a passion project for them and, you know, maybe something that they just desperately wanted to get out there because they think it would be a great game, which that's great, you know, it's a fun game, but you don't get into the game making business specifically for the... Um, I guess artistic integrity of you know making your dreams come true. Uh, I mean, some people do, but most game companies and actual legitimate companies, not just a couple of random people putting a game together, but legitimate companies want to make some money, and you know this is a career to them. So, if a specific aspect of a game is heavily requested and will have the backing from the community, they'll listen. So, uh, you know, the, the series have, has given you plenty of gameplay to decide if it's something you want to get involved in. Leave your comments for the developers. Uh, they'll greatly appreciate feedback on how to make their game better so that they can satisfy you and in turn make more sales. Um, I do think it's a fun game. It has a lot of potential, but I still have to see a finished product before I can actually give my vote to go out and get it or not. But So this series was... Again, Folktale, developed and published by Games Foundry. And I greatly appreciate you watching and supporting this series. Uh, this series has by far been my most popular one. In fact, um, this series, the in fact, actually just the four first four videos of this series, not all eight, accounted for about 80% of my, uh, my account views. So thank you very much for supporting the series. And please check out some of the other video series that I've had. I have some Grand Theft Auto uh, gameplays. I just started playing this game called Track Day Manager. Uh, I got a bunch of other random games that I've done some gameplay for. And if you want to see more of those, go ahead and leave comments of those. If you want to see me play the next map of this, leave that in the comments. Say, hey, I'd really like to see the hard map. Uh, I'd you know, if you want to see the map editor or the character editor, leave a comment and request that and I'll go ahead and put a video together for that but otherwise this is going to be the end of this series for at least a few months uh, when they bring more into the game I'll go ahead and replay it some more thank you very much for supporting and watching this video please if you enjoy watching the videos subscribe like comment uh, I appreciate all feedback and I appreciate your support and you know again check out some of my other videos I greatly appreciate that as well so thank you for watching